Hello, in this video, I will show you how to easily create a high quality satellite map for your armory for the terrain using my new seamless set map tool. To start off, go to the web page of the Tilda Beer Terrain Tools GitHub repository. It is linked in the video description. In the bottom of the page, you can also find a link to our written guide. It covers the same things as this video tutorial. Let's get started. First of all, click the green code button in the top of the GitHub page and choose Download zip file. Open it using your preferred zip tool or even just Windows and extract the seamless set map tool folder to any place you like. In this folder, we can find multiple things, including our masks folder. We will now export our terrain surface masks to it. Open your terrain in the workbench. This is my old Seidenbruch terrain. As you can see, it still has a real satellite image as its map. Go into the Terrain Tools Paint tab, set the export path to the masks folder, confirm and hit export. Afterwards, go into the Info and Dikes tab and look for the total terrain size in meters. Size is found on the height map. Remember it, you'll need it later. If you are using any custom terrain materials, like I am, you need to copy them to the Tools Data folder. If you are just using materials included in Vanilla Armory Forger, skip ahead to the next step. To do this, Go to where your custom materials are saved, usually this folder. Right-click and open it in Windows Explorer. Copy the image files and paste them into the Tools Data folder. Folder structure is not important. If you are also using custom textures as middle maps in these materials, do the same for them, making sure they are PNG or JPEG files. For the next step, Go back to your seamless set map tool folder. In there, you will find generate.py and requirements.bat. If you don't have Python yet, you will need to install it first. Run requirements.bat. It will make sure you have all the necessary Python packages. Once that's done, you are ready to run generate.py. It will ask you for the size of the terrain. In my case, that was 4096 by 2048. After pressing enter, the program will start generating the satellite map. Wait until it's done and close the window. The texture will be saved in the main folder as result.png. You can now get back into the world editor and import it in the regular way. For it to be displayed correctly, save, wait until it has finished processing, then reload the world. As you can see, the resulting satellite map looks very nice and has highly accurate colors even for custom materials. If this tool helped you, I would appreciate if you could link it in your mod description so more people can learn about it. If you have any remaining questions or run into some kind of trouble, I recommend checking out the written guides FAQ. If it does not help, you are also welcome to ask me directly.